I think two stars on your time card means you're on parole and a military general. <laughs> but do we ever find out why Emilio Estevez went to jail? No. Yeah, he was robbing, um, he was robbing a place. He was stealing and then, bread like and John And remember Belgeon. the police shined a light on him and he was like... Oh, and okay. they make fun of him for being like an idiot robber. All right, I see somebody here in a Mastodon shirt, and I'm going to ask you, sir, um, your name, your title, and your question. Uh, my name's Adam. My title is uh, Google Car the Movie. Love it. And uh, <laughs> speaking of Yardley Smith and her husband, baby Timothy Busfield, do you think that he kidnapped her, forced him to marry her, and she has Stockholm Syndrome? So Honestly, you're, you're, you're positing a Badlands scenario? Oh, yeah. There is something very wrong about their relationship. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, one thing that's sort of unexamined is, you know, why, why is their car not affected by this? And, uh, he could be know. an alien. Ooh, wow. And, and that's he how he's getting her pregnant with his fingers? Was he putting he microchips so up her much vagina? Older than her. He's what? He appears to be so much older than her. She does look very and act very young. Is it a Lolita situation? Is this like? Yep, it is. <laughs> this is a very thinly veiled Lolita Humbert Humbert situation. <laughs> um, all right, your name, your movie title, and your question. Uh, my name is Liz. The movie title is Transformers Four: Revenge of the Fallen. <laughs> and the question is, so they have a grenade launcher that they fire at a select few trucks. Why don't they fire the grenade launcher at the trucks and then get out? Well, that's a great question. Yeah, they also have grenades. They have tons of stuff that they could blow up all the trucks with. And it is unclear to me why they don't, and instead why they just fill those trucks up with gas. Well, because the gun's on them. The gun is slowly on them. But if you push it real quick, uh, it'll get here's, to here's how to fix that. Pin, grenade, roll under machine gun truck. Couple am. All right, I have a question over here in your the Your question is unanswerable. <laughs> your question, your name, your uh, title, and your question. Hi, um, I'm Megan. The machines are here. <laughs> My title would be You're an Asshole. Um, hey, man, be cool. The title, <laughs> the title of the bank that, in the beginning. Um, and my question is, uh, I was very upset that Emilio Estevez and the road twitch got to have the bed in this weird truck stop, like road stop that was also a motel that had showers and that weird bathroom scene. Uh, and I'm just wondering why the boss seemingly had to sleep in the restaurant <laughs> and then also woke up with the waitress who, th she was buttoning herself up as if they slept together even though she was with one of the truckers that got there. I think it's the end of the world and people are just hardcore boning, right? I mean, that was a... Yeah, but, but I, I mean, think... Like barrel guy get the bed the one bed. yeah and i would think that married couple on their first night of marriage you know is deserving of a bed <laughs> who has a good uh, a really good question they believe in their question real oh this guy right here I, I i take the waving of the hand all right here you go what is your question your name your title and your question um my name is maxwell and it would be um obtuse overdose Ooh. <laughs> hi paul hi jason june Daily. You guys are hilarious. You're doing a good job. Um, Thank you. It's that Andrew. means everything. <laughs> these are, these are Do you think fun. we're doing this for you? They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. These are great. This is fucking You're great. having fun? Here's your question. Go. Okay, mainly June. Um, Remember, what? you told us this would be good. It's good. It's good. So I, far, I, it's I terrible. Just... <laughs> I, want to to, I want to get to all of you. I just wanted to know what your favorite death was in the montage when the kid, the sprinkler montage when the kid's driving down uh, the street on his bike, which has the illest music cue in the whole movie. So I don't know, if, like the dog, the hair drug. All right, so what is everyone's favorite death? I'm gonna say death by Walkman. <laughs> I liked the lawnmower. I liked the lawnmower as a threat, because it was slow. <laughs> so like, I couldn't understand why the person had been killed by it. I think I liked the blow dryer, ultimately. I've already said I like that dog eating that ambulance to death. 
But I want to give a special shout out in that scene to the fact that that kid doesn't give a shit about any of it. He's <laughs> riding around on his bike going, oh yeah, everybody got killed By the in some way, way huh? the way they reveal the news of his father's death, <laughs> Emilio on the road twitch, like refuse, just refuse to tell yep, him. Don't right. tell him. And, and don't want anyone telling him as though that's going to make it any easier when he finds out his father's dead. Yeah, and when he arrives in the truck stop, there's, I mean, what, a baker's dozen people there. And he's and asked his, over and over, where's where, is my, my dad? Is my dad okay? Where's my dad? Nobody answers. And Bubba is like, oh, he's fucking straight up dead, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's like Deadsville, USA. <laughs> Bubba, not great bedside manners, but a forthright so guy. He's got the information out. <laughs> All right, sir, your name, your uh, title, and your question. All right, I'm Charlie. I would call this Mad Max Fury Road Twitch. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you think Vince Gilligan was inspired by this movie?